It's eight o'clock in the morning, and Mary Matisia is cleaning the house, while her neighbour, Grace Neva, sets off to fetch water from the nearest river. It's a six-kilometre walk for Grace, and when she gets there, she finds the river dry. So she starts to dig. Back in the village, Mary has finished her housework, and now she too sets off to fetch water. But no long walk or digging in the sand for her. Her water's on tap. And it's all thanks to this rock. When it rains, water runs down the face of the rock and gathers in this reservoir. Then down through these pipes and into a storage tank. This one holds 150,000 litres and can keep the community going for months. The project was built and is now managed by the community it serves, and everyone who joins the project shares its benefits. Most communities levy a charge for the water. Three US cents per 20 litre jerry can is typical. And some well established communities are now turning a profit and reinvesting. Here, the community has bought a plot of land and are setting up a model farm to teach farmers how to use techniques like drip irrigation. The amount of money collected from the water catchment, we put in an extra job, extra work. The way of extending the farmers is to prepare an experimental farm where people can learn what to do in their chambers. Back at the dry riverbed, Grace is still scraping water from the bottom of a hole. As long as women are left carrying this burden, their communities will remain rooted in poverty. Mm -hmm.